You know, as, as you tell me that story, I remember a good friend of mine, a dear friend of mine who's no longer with us, um, Mr. Reggie Osei. And okay. um, this was a guy who was an entertainment lawyer for many years. He represented so many of the greats from Jay-Z to Mary J. Blige, so forth oh, wow. and so on. He built this amazing company. And he walked away from it. He's this wow. entertainment lawyer. He had um, a huge office, a lot of employees. He's doing contracts um, for, for all of the major stars in entertainment. And one day he walked away from it. Really? No more. And I remember him telling me, Sean, um, you know, I, he started writing. As he walked away and he's trying to figure out what is next, what does he want to do with his life, all he knew was I didn't love doing law anymore. He knew that right. part. Right. And he just needed to, 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 to take it back. And he told me he started out with just writing. And then through the writing, he found this new emerging platform called Podcast. Mm -hmm. And he reinvents himself because everybody knew him as a corporate lawyer. Right. So he changes his name, goes under the name Combat Jack. <laughs> and, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, the, you know, <laughs> He goes from lawyer to now he's a he's hosting a podcast talking about, you know, hip hop and and really the whole R and B thing, the music industry. And that podcast he told and I, I'll never forget this because I'm I, I met him and we sat down and he was telling me, you know, Sean, this this podcast thing is going to take over. And I wish I had listened to him back then. <laughs> <laughs> because he started his podcast probably the same time you started yours, maybe two years earlier. And he mm -hmm. said, this podcast thing is going to take over the world. And I'll never forget, he started with, just like you, you mm -hmm. know, maybe 100 downloads, everybody he knows. And one day he called me, he was like, Sean, I, I, I just did over a million downloads. You know, I'm Wait. killing it. And yeah. the point was, he left something that he knew and I guess at one point it served him. He made a lot of money, made his name in the music industry as this attorney. But it goes back to our earlier point. It was only for a season. That's it was it. Only for, that was it. It was only for a season. Mm -hmm. And when he decided to transition, to walk away, he trusted God and he understood there was something better for him waiting. Something yes. that spoke to his spirit. Something that, that, that he would just enjoy doing. It was no longer work. And when he got into that side of his life, that part of the business um, really blew up for him. And unfortunately, we lost him a couple of years ago. But I love your story because that is the way I try to live my life. And I think all entrepreneurs, you will find success in the thing that you are most passionate about, the thing where your gifts lie. That is where you will find the most success. So search it, seek it. And don't stop until you figure out what is my purpose. And you go out, don't, don't, don't chase the money. But That's you it. go after your purpose full force. That money will follow, I guarantee you. Man. I want Brother, to talk to you. Go, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just want to interject real quick. So while I was sitting on that couch looking at the ceiling, and uh, <laughs> I'm trying to re recalibrate, um, and I talked about doing you know things that I like to do and things that I was good at. Um, I have a, a new book. It's not out yet. It's going to be out in a couple of weeks. It's called Pinpoint and Monetize Your Genius. And that... I didn't know what I was doing at the time, but I was actually formulating that book. And your genius is the intersection between your passion and your talent. Okay. So stay, stay there. Stay there. Say yeah. that again, because that, that is such a poignant uh, gem that you just dropped. Please say, wh where does your genius lie? It's the intersection of your passion and your talent. That's your genius. Okay. And so when I came back, I had to have my genius in full effect. That's the only way I knew to come back because that's my truism. And so Black Entrepreneur Blueprint, the ecosystem around it, it, it was my passion and my talents that I put together to create that, what I call genius space. And that's where I'm living in right now. And that's what I was saying. So for me to even think about working for somebody at this point, you know, now I've gone through a lot to get to this point, but hopefully when the book comes out, I'll be able to share some things as how, you know, others can get to their, their genius spot. So that's my, my second book, but, um, uh, that's coming out, but yeah, man, that's, that's where I think everybody should be. And everybody probably wants to be there. They just don't know how to get to that place. So. 
Yeah. You know, I, I, I love that. I love that. And we will be creating a segment out of that. Thank you, bro. Um, you know, I love that, that genius place. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.